Now the story goes, there's a bitter horse thief and a contrite horse thief, and we're all supposed to be like the contrite horse thief and ask for forgiveness. But I actually understand the bitter horse thief. <laughs> the bitter horse thief had a lot to be bitter about because he's being crucified with Jesus, who has a huge following, even at that time, you know? So Jesus got all the headlines, and Jesus got all the merch. Let's face it. I've never been wearing a cross and had someone come up to me and go, which guy was that? Was that the horse thief? Are there any Jewish people here? Yes? There are Jewish people in Nashville? You're Catholic, who's Jewish? She's Jewish, okay? I don't like to say, I'll say Jewish, but I will not say Jew because that sounds like a slur, you know? I call you guys the Chosens. Isn't that more upbeat? The Chosens. Now, miss, have you been to Israel? Not yet. Well, I went over there before the dark times. Did I learn Hebrew? No, I didn't. But I looked at it a lot. And the language of Hebrew just looks like somebody is repeatedly trying to draw a footstool over and over again. It just looked like footstool, half a footstool, one leg of a footstool, footstool flipped over, footstool flipped over, footstool, one leg of a footstool, flipped over footstool, half a footstool, one leg of a footstool, 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 half a footstool. I just wish you guys a happy Easter. And uh, Hebrew, I just wish you guys a happy Easter. I think Jesus had a bad lawyer. Because it was after his trial, you know, and he's waiting for the verdict and his lawyer comes back and goes, I have some good news and I have some bad news. Which would you like first? And Jesus goes, I'm about the good news. So give me the good news. And the lawyer goes, they've decided on crucifixion. And Jesus goes, that's the good news? What's the bad news? The lawyer goes, the bad news is the Romans have a union and the union has a contract with the state to perform the crucifixion. But they do not have a contract with the state to carry the cross to the crucifixion site. <laughs> Jesus goes, why are you telling me this? The lawyer goes, they want to pay you a non-union wage to carry the cross, you know? Jesus goes to the lawyer, he goes, uh, who are these people that are doing this to me? And the lawyer goes, they're the Romans, but later they will become Italians. And if it matters in the future, they're gonna be way into you. They're really super into your birthday and they're gonna put nativity scenes with your whole family on their front lawn, and if anybody messes with them, they'll flip out and then it'll make the newspaper. And Jesus goes, Italians, huh? Well, how about this? Everybody in their ethnicity, all the men in their ethnicity have hair on their back for the rest of eternity. All their women have mustaches. All their kids live with their parents until they're 40. And when they do move out, they move next door. How's that? Is that fun? Tell them it's from the King of the Jews. Thank you.